10 Signs Your Kidneys Are Crying for Help Today, I'm going to talk about a very important organ in your body that you may not pay much attention to, your kidneys. Your kidneys are responsible for filtering your blood, removing waste and excess water, and producing hormones that regulate your blood pressure, red blood cell production, and bone health. They also help maintain the balance of minerals and electrolytes in your body, such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and phosphorus. But sometimes, your kidneys can get damaged or diseased, and this can affect their ability to function properly. This can lead to a condition called chronic kidney disease, or CKD, which means that your kidneys are gradually losing their filtering capacity. CKD can have serious consequences, such as high blood pressure, anemia, bone disease, heart disease, and kidney failure. According to the World Health Organization, CKD is the sixth fastest growing cause of death globally. The problem is, many people with CKD don't know they have it, because the symptoms are often subtle and nonspecific, especially in the early stages. In fact, only 10% of the people living with CKD are aware of their condition. That's why it's important to know the signs and symptoms of kidney problems and to get tested regularly if you are at risk. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 signs that your kidneys are crying for help and what you can do to prevent or treat CKD. You're not alone in your health journey. We're here to help you. Subscribe to our channel and join our community of health enthusiasts who share their experiences, challenges, and successes. Let's get started. Number 1. Fatigue One of the first signs of kidney problems is feeling tired and weak all the time. This is because your kidneys produce a hormone called erythropoietin, or EPO, which stimulates the production of red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen to your tissues and organs, and give you energy. When your kidneys are not working well, they make less EPO, and this leads to a lower number of red blood cells, or anemia. Anemia can cause fatigue, shortness of breath, dizziness, and pale skin. If you feel tired even after getting enough sleep and rest, you may want to check your kidney function and your hemoglobin level. Number 2. High blood pressure. Do you have high blood pressure or hypertension, which means your blood pressure is above 140 to 90 millimeters of mercury? This could be a sign that your kidneys are not working well. Your kidneys play a key role in regulating your blood pressure by controlling the amount of fluid and sodium in your body and by producing hormones that affect your blood vessels. When your kidneys are damaged, they can cause fluid retention and sodium imbalance, and they can produce less of the hormones that relax your blood vessels. This can lead to high blood pressure, which can further damage your kidneys and increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. High blood pressure can also be caused by other factors, such as stress, obesity, smoking, or genetics, so you should also monitor your blood pressure regularly and adopt a healthy lifestyle. Number 3. Shortness of breath. Your kidneys play a role in regulating your blood pressure by producing a hormone called renin, which controls the constriction and dilation of your blood vessels. When your kidneys are not working well, they can produce too much or too little renin, and this can cause your blood pressure to rise or fall. High blood pressure can damage your heart and your blood vessels and lead to a condition called pulmonary edema which means that fluid builds up in your lungs. This can make it hard for you to breathe and cause you to cough, wheeze, or gasp for air. Low blood pressure can also cause shortness of breath by reducing the blood flow and oxygen delivery to your lungs. Shortness of breath can also be caused by anemia, as I explained before, or by other lung diseases, such as asthma, COPD, or pneumonia so it's important to get a proper diagnosis and treatment. Number 4. Dry and Itchy Skin Your skin is the largest organ in your body, and it reflects your overall health. One of the functions of your kidneys is to maintain the balance of minerals and electrolytes in your body, such as sodium, 
potassium, calcium, and phosphorus. These minerals and electrolytes are essential for your skin health, as they help keep your skin hydrated, elastic, and smooth. When your kidneys are not working well, they can cause an imbalance of these minerals and electrolytes, and this can affect your skin. You may experience dryness, itchiness, rash, or flaking of your skin. You may also notice changes in your skin color, such as paleness, yellowing, or darkening. Dry and itchy skin can also be a sign of dehydration, allergies, eczema, or psoriasis, so it's important to drink enough water and moisturize your skin regularly. Number 5. Swollen Ankles, Feet, or Hands Another function of your kidneys is to remove excess water and waste from your body and produce urine. When your kidneys are not working well, they can cause fluid retention, or edema, which means that excess fluid builds up in your tissues and causes swelling. This can happen in any part of your body, but it's more common in your lower extremities, such as your ankles, feet, or hands. You may also notice that your shoes, socks, rings, or bracelets feel tighter than usual or that you have puffy eyes or face. Swelling can also be a sign of other conditions, such as heart failure, liver disease, or malnutrition, so it's important to consult your doctor if you notice any unusual swelling. Number 6. Back Pain and Kidney Pain Do you have back pain and kidney pain, especially in the morning or after physical activity? This could be a sign that your kidneys are not working well. Your kidneys are located in your lower back, just below your rib cage, and they can cause pain when they are inflamed, infected, or blocked by a kidney stone. The pain can be dull or sharp, and it can radiate to your abdomen, groin, or side. Back pain and kidney pain can also be caused by other conditions, such as muscle strain, spinal problems, or urinary tract infections, so you should also check for other symptoms and get a urine test to rule out other causes. Number 8. Urination Issues One of the most obvious signs of kidney problems is having changes in your urination patterns or habits. This can include having to urinate more often or less often than usual, especially at night, having difficulty starting or stopping your urine stream, or feeling a burning sensation when you urinate, having a weak or interrupted urine flow, or feeling like you can't empty your bladder completely, having blood in your urine, or a dark, brown, or red color. Having foamy or bubbly urine or a strong or foul odor. Having pain or pressure in your lower back, abdomen, or sides. Urination issues can also be caused by other conditions, such as urinary tract infections, kidney stones, prostate problems, or diabetes, so it's important to get a urine test and a physical exam if you notice any of these symptoms. Number 9. Bad Breath and Metal Taste your sense of taste and smell are closely related, and they depend on your oral health and hygiene. One of the functions of your kidneys is to filter out waste products from your blood, such as urea, creatinine, and ammonia. When your kidneys are not working well, these waste products can build up in your blood and affect your taste buds and your salivary glands. This can cause you to have a bad breath or halitosis and a metallic or bitter taste in your mouth. You may also lose your appetite or have a hard time enjoying your food. Bad breath and metal taste can also be caused by other conditions, such as gum disease, infections, medications, or poor oral hygiene, so it's important to brush your teeth, floss, and rinse your mouth regularly, and visit your dentist if needed. Number 10. Trouble Sleeping The last sign of kidney problems that I'm going to talk about is having trouble sleeping, or insomnia. This can be caused by several factors related to your kidney health, such as having to urinate frequently at night, or nocturia, which can interrupt your sleep cycle and make it hard for you to fall asleep or stay asleep. Having Restless Legs Syndrome, or RLS 
which is a condition that causes an uncomfortable sensation in your legs and an urge to move them, especially at night. RLS can be caused by iron deficiency, nerve damage, or high levels of waste products in your blood, which can affect having sleep apnea, which is a condition that causes you to stop breathing for short periods of time during your sleep. Sleep apnea can be caused by obesity, enlarged tonsils, or a narrow airway, and it can also be linked to kidney disease, as it can increase your blood pressure and reduce your oxygen levels. Sleep apnea can cause snoring, headaches, daytime sleepiness, and poor concentration. Trouble sleeping can also be caused by other factors, such as stress, anxiety, depression, or caffeine intake, so it's important to practice good sleep hygiene and seek professional help if needed. So, these are the 10 signs that your kidneys are crying for help, and what you can do to prevent or treat CKD. Remember, your kidneys are vital for your health and well-being, and you should take good care of them. Here are some tips to keep your kidneys healthy. Number 1. Proper Hydration The recommended amount of water intake varies depending on your age, weight, activity level, and climate, but a general rule of thumb is to drink at least 8 glasses of water a day or more if you sweat a lot or have a fever. Drinking too much water can also be harmful, as it can dilute your electrolytes and cause hyponatremia, or low sodium levels in your blood. If you have kidney disease, you may need to limit your fluid intake, as your kidneys may not be able to handle the excess fluid. Consult your doctor for the best advice on how much water you should drink. Number 2. Eat healthy foods. Eat a balanced diet, rich in fruits vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Avoid foods that are high in salt, sugar, fat, or processed ingredients, as they can increase your blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, and inflammation, and damage your kidneys. Limit your intake of animal protein, especially red meat, as it can increase your uric acid levels and cause kidney stones. Limit your intake of potassium, phosphorus, and calcium, as they can build up in your blood and cause problems if you have kidney disease. Number 3. Exercise regularly, but not too intensely. Physical activity can help you maintain a healthy weight, lower your blood pressure, improve your blood circulation, and reduce your stress levels, all of which can benefit your kidneys. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise per week, such as walking, jogging, cycling, or swimming, and include some strength training and stretching exercises as well. Avoid exercises that are too strenuous, as they can cause dehydration, muscle breakdown, or rhabdomyolysis, which can damage your kidneys. Number 4. Quit smoking and limit your alcohol intake. Smoking can damage your blood vessels, increase your blood pressure, and reduce your blood flow to your kidneys, and increase your risk of kidney cancer. Alcohol can dehydrate you, increase your blood pressure, and interfere with your kidney function, and increase your risk of liver disease. Quitting smoking and limiting your alcohol intake can improve your kidney health, as well as your overall health. Number 5. Manage your blood pressure blood sugar, and cholesterol levels. High blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high cholesterol levels can damage your kidneys, as well as your heart, brain, and eyes. If you have hypertension, diabetes, or dyslipidemia, you should monitor your blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol levels regularly, and take your medications as prescribed. You should also follow the lifestyle tips such as eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, quitting smoking, and limiting your alcohol intake. Get tested for kidney function and kidney damage. The best way to know if your kidneys are crying for help is to get tested for kidney function and kidney damage. There are two simple tests that can measure your kidney function, a blood test that measures your glomerular filtration rate, or GFR, which is the rate at which your kidneys filter your blood 
and a urine test that measures your albumin to creatinine ratio, or ACR, which is the amount of protein that leaks from your blood into your urine. These tests can tell you how well your kidneys are working, and if you have any signs of kidney damage. You should get these tests at least once a year, or more often if you have risk factors for kidney disease, such as diabetes, hypertension, family history, age, or ethnicity. Consult your doctor for the best advice on how to get tested for kidney function and kidney damage. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.